بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم روشن علی ویلکم ٹو دا فرسٹ پارٹ آف مائی لیرکس ٹائپ سیٹنگ سسٹم سو وٹ از لیرکس لیرکس از اے ڈاکومنٹ پریپریشن سسٹم ان لیرکس وی یوز پلین ٹیکس ایز اپوز ٹو دا فارمیٹڈ ٹیکس ان موسٹ آف دا ورڈ پروسیسرز لائک ایم ایس ورڈ لبری آفس رائٹر ایکسیٹرا As you can see, in LaTeX, you only use plain text and some sort of tags like slash document class, slash title, etc. As opposed to documents written in other text editors. Whatever you write in LaTeX, you use a tag command. For example, if you want to write title of the research article, then you will have to use slash title tag and then the title of the paper. This title of the paper will only be in the plain text. To write author names, you have to use slash author tag and author names inside these curly braces. Similarly, if you want to insert page numbers into your document, then you will have to use slash page numbering command. And in the curly braces, you must write global, Arabic or Roman, whatever page numbering type you want to use in your document. Once you write your document in LaTeX, you will need a converter to convert your LaTeX typed document into the beautifully formatted document there are a lot of inverters available that can convert your latex document into this formatted document one of the converters is called mictac however it is very hard to write your latex documents into mictac because you will have to memorize the whole spelling of your command there is another program called tax studio that can help you in this regard so you need only two things mictac and tax studio you need to download and install both of them to download make text go to google type m i k t e x make text this is the link to download your make text click here this is the make text website just click this download button your make text will be downloaded after download is complete just install your make text program after installing make text search for text studio on your google t e x s t u d i o here is the text studio website www.textstudio.org click here and then download and install it once these two softwares are installed you are ready to go just open your text studio program then go to file click new so here you can write your new document just for a comparison purposes let me write a simple document in ms word first open your ms word here i am going to write a simple document let's format our document now Similarly, to indent your paragraph, you will have to hit tab button. To write your bibliography, you will have to use programs like EndNote, Mendeley, or Zotero, etc. To insert tables in your documents, you use insert table. So the table is inserted. As opposed to this system, you only need plain text in LaTeX programs. You have to type everything. You have to type title in a special tag. You have to type table in a special tag. You don't need to draw your tables in LaTeX programs. You just have to specify the number of columns, number of rows, etc. You don't even need to use EndNote, Mendeley, or Zotero, or any other reference management software to manage your bibliography, etc. However, in LaTeX, you don't need to increase the size of the text or to make it bold. Also, you don't need to insert or to draw the tables. You just need a command slash begin table and slash end table to insert table into your LaTeX document. So now let's come back to our LaTeX program and write our first LaTeX document. Remember, whenever you write a program in LaTeX, you must start with slash document class. This tag is used to specify the document type, the class of the document. After writing slash document class, you have to type your class enclosed in the curly braces. Here you can write article. If you are going to write a book, then just write book. As we are going to write a research article, type article here. The second thing you need to type 
is slash begin document hit enter the closing tag of begin document is automatically inserted that is slash end document this pair of tags specify the environment for the document whatever you write goes in between these two tags you type your abstract here you type your tables pictures images equations your introduction material method section everything goes in between these two tags begin and end tags now let's write a very simple statement here this is our first article your simple most document is ready now the next thing you must do is compile your document. To compile your document, just click this green compile button. As you can see, the process has completed normally. To view your document, you have to click this view button. Here is your document. Let me increase the size. You don't see anything like document class, beginner and document here in this view. The page numbers are inserted automatically. Let me show you the page number. Here is the first page. Now let me show you how you insert a title page in your latex document. To insert a title page in your latex document, you need to type the title and author names of the research article. You have to write your title here beneath document class. To insert a title into your document, just type backslash title, curly braces, then type your title. For example, learn latex a step-by-step -step tutorial then insert author names curly braces the name of the authors to make it a title page you need to type another command just after begin document slash make title as we all know that our documents start on the next page after the title to insert a new page slash new page so the document is ready with a title page now again click this green button compile you don't need to click this again and again. You only need to click this for the first time. Whatever changes you make in your document later on, you just need to click this green button. All the new inserted tags will appear in your document automatically. So here is the title page that we have that we just inserted into our document. This is our title. This is the author. Date is automatically inserted. Page 1 and then on page 2 this statement appears this is our first article and it appears on the next page because we have inserted a tag here slash new page this slash new page command creates a new page and put this statement on another page but we don't need page number on our title page to remove this numbering from your title page you need another tag called page numbering and inside these curly braces just type global again click this compile button and now the page number has just disappeared however this command removes page numbers from the whole document it has removed page number from the title page as well as from the next page to insert page numbers on the pages in the rest of the documents you need another page numbering command after this new page command slash page numbering here you can write arabic if you want to insert roman numbers you will have to write roman here numbers compile your document let's see if the page number has appeared on the second page there is no page number on the title page and a page number is inserted on the next page to insert more pages into your document you just need to type slash new page command slash new page and then whatever you want to write on that page just type that for example i am Roshan Ali. After that, I insert another page, new page, and then type whatever you want to appear on that page. We are learning Let it Compile your document. Now you can see that this statement, I am Roshan Ali, has appeared on the next page, and the next page has got page number two. And this statement has appeared on the third page. We are learning Latex. Here is the page number 3. To insert Roman numbers on rest of the pages, type new page, then, then type page numbering, Roman, and on this page type something that you want to appear on the page. The page number below is in 
Roman. Then insert another page, new page, write another sentence. This is the second page, Roman. Compile your document and now check it again. This is the statement we just entered. The page number below is in Roman. Here is the Roman number. This is our second page. So this is how we insert page numbers into our document. Now the last tag for our today's lesson is how do you insert new line? If I want to insert new line in LaTeX, I cannot insert new line just by hitting enter button. For example, if I want to insert new line after this sentence, then I cannot just hit enter and write another sentence. It will not go into new line. Let's try. Sentence must go in a new line. As you can see that I have write these two sentences in two separate lines. But here in the view page, both of them will go in the same line. Let's compile it. See, both of these lines have been written in the same line. So what we do to make this sentence appear on the next line? For this purpose, you only need to type backslash twice. Now again, compile your document. The new statement will now appear on the new line. Insert another line, third line. Insert another new line. This is the fourth line. Compile it and the rest of the lines will appear beneath lines. So this was all for today. In our next tutorial, we will inshallah learn some advanced tags to format our doc. Thank you for watching. Bye.